Friends, life is short. Time is flying by. You can't afford to put off what God's put in your heart. You don't have time to live with things holding you back. You have seeds of greatness on the inside. You know, some of the boys' families still have unanswered questions, and they are really relying on USF researchers to fill in the gaps while those researchers say they need help. And today, U.S. Senator Bill Nelson pledged his support and says he'll try to get even more so they can continue their work. Where there's smoke, there's fire. I want to find out where the fire is. Anthropologists from USF already said they've recently found proof of the deaths of 96 students at the former Dozier School for Boys, including 50 grave sites on the grounds after reports of abuse and torture at the state-run facility. USF researchers used ground-penetrating radar, finding dozens more deaths happened here than what FDLE filed in their report back in 2009. Odell Krell in her 80s says she still doesn't have any closure about what happened to her brother. So we do have proof, I guess, that he died and that he's there, but he's not listed in the Bureau of Statistics as being dead. As far as they're concerned, he's still alive. Krell still says no one knows how her brother died. I feel in my heart he's gone and maybe and probably dead but I'm just suspicious of the manner in which he died. Especially when she hears the stories from those who survived being at the school, like Robert Straley, who remembers being taken to what was called the White House in his pajamas. I heard a lot of groans and screams and things that I had never heard. Um, it's nothing like you would hear in a movie. It's something that you would only hear if you had went to war, say, or had been a, a an ambulance person or maybe worked in a hospital. But Straley says the sounds were nothing like the real thing, a beating with a leather whip with a wooden handle. They took me in there and told me to grasp the headrail, bite the pillow, look at the wall, don't scream, don't get up or you'll get more. In downtown Tampa, Tammy Fields, 10 News.